Check one, check two. Still checking. <laughs> it is. Although we're good on Facebook. There we go on Facebook. Hello, Facebook. Hi, right, thanks for cooperating today. <laughs> Instagram's taking a moment. Yeah, there we go. Happy yeah. Thirsty Thursday, everyone. We're back. It's another Thursday. Yes, who knew? <laughs> uh, today we're going to be talking about light white wines, which I'm super excited about because that's kind of, when it comes to wine, that's what I like. Um, today we're doing a little bit more of the dry white wines rather than the sweet, mm -hmm. but you know. Yeah, but I've, your taste has changed so much. Maybe yeah. you'll be like, yeah, I'm That's actually really like excited. Now. Maybe I don't know. I'm all over the map to be honest. Before I forget, uh, we do have a sale going on right now. You can get 10% off with the code Cork10. And that's on any corkers or cappers. Nice. So um, I know Paul is a huge fan of that Portuguese floor corker. Um, that's $69.99, and it's a really nice uh, corker. Um, but of course, we have a lot of different options for the corkers and the cappers. So go head to Homebrew Ohio and use code CORK10 at checkout to get 10% off any corkers or cappers. Wow, and if you're going to do a capper, you could really just go with like a tabletop capper, which would be yeah. a super convenient thing. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know, I feel like 10% off something that's going to be used so much is totally a good deal. Yeah, it kind of gets it to you, you know. It's almost like someone thought to make it up and make a deal for everyone. You're welcome, people. No, you're like, <laughs> let's make a deal. <laughs> let's make a deal. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, so we are going to be going through, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different styles today. Um, two of which we're drinking. We which is, drink uh, this is crazy because I was out yesterday um, we had a family funeral, so I wasn't here, and you had this all planned and, like, done yesterday, and I and I was thinking this morning, uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm always in charge of the drink. Yeah, right. So, I, and, and I knew that we had, like, it was going to be light summer, white, mm -hmm. and I was like, well, I totally know I'm going to do a Pinot Grigio and a Sauvignon Blanc, because those are my two go-to we talked about last week. Yeah. For a tasting, and lo and behold, I did something right because it just totally went right yeah. with what you wanted. Well, to do. I kind of, I kind of just thought, you know, what are the ones that we talk about and whatever, and then I put them together. So all right, all right. <laughs> hey, we don't even have to talk. We can just get this. Together. We're on the same page. I know, I know. And if you guys have any sunshine there, you need to go get your glass of wine, even if you don't have sunshine, get your glass of wine get your glass and of have wine. a drink with us. Um, I don't know if Zoe is watching, my friend Zoe, mm -hmm. but I just did want to give her a quick shout out if she is watching. This girl. She was, um, she was going down, like, a bouncy house slide or something. Maybe I'm wrong. But she was going down some sort of inflatable slide, and she sprained her ankle. Um, she was on day 519 of running a mile every day, and she had to stop today. So, Zoe, if you're watching, you're amazing. You did great. Grab a glass of wine and you come need a join glass us. of wine. Yeah. And a nice glass. <laughs> nice glass. Yeah. Um, so, we have these fancy little, like, Wine measure? What are these called? So they're like a little decanter. You know how we decanted them before in the yeah. larger one? And I always like to kind of bring in little accessories every now and then from my kitchen. Um, but these are always fun. I like them when we're going to have guests over. Yeah. And like, especially if we, we are, we love to eat and drink, obviously, outside. Mm -hmm. We're outside people. Even though it don't seem like I would be, I'm totally an outside person. And so we love to entertain outside. And so when you're pouring for people... I love to have this so I can pour, especially if I have uh, friends who are not all drinking the same thing where I would just take the bottle out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I pour it this way so I can take it out and I don't spill it and everybody gets like the same amount in it. Plus it looks like, it looks just fancy. That's it is what, it, yeah. she, uh, she brought them in and I was like, ooh, what are we doing? We're getting fancy. <laughs> Sweet. So, um... I'm assuming there's a specific glass for the specific... Well, you can do... Um, actually, we don't have white wine glasses. They're just very universal glasses. So if okay. we had the white wine glasses, it would make more, so, more of a difference. Gotcha. Okay. So what I would do, since you always go sweeter to drier, um, I would say... Am I doing that backwards? Or is it drier to sweeter? I don't know. <laughs> you know my day. <laughs> Anyway, oh, we're doing Pinot, we can, we're doing yeah. Pinot Grigio first. Okay. Okay. And so I'm gonna say let's do them with a stemmed glass in the Pinot Grigio, okay. 
and then we're going to do Sauvignon Blanc second and I'm really interested to see which one you like better. I mean, yeah. I know, you know my whole thing, like it depends yeah. on the food and that kind of thing, but right. um, yeah, let's see. Okay, I'm excited. So this one first. Mm -hmm. We're gonna... Perfect. It smells very fruity. Like maybe green apples and um, kind of a, a tartness, do you think? Yeah. Like, I feel like it's going to be pretty acidic. Maybe? Maybe. I don't feel like it is, but you might. You might. Hmm. Did you get this? Did you get, like, a little... Hmm? Little bit, but not a ton. Um, okay. I like it. Is this one supposed to be sweeter than yes. the other one? Okay. So now I'm going like, to keep that in mind. When we drink the other one, I'm going to be able to compare more. Yes, and so this is the one where I talk about, like, if we're going to do, like, a delicate whitefish, or we're going to do something that isn't a real bold meal, I do this, so there's no argument. Yeah, it seems pretty... It's chill. Um, so, I, I purposely left this um, tidbit to the side so that I could surprise you. Okay. But, um, one of our, one of our affiliates sent us, they've been working on a little bit of a side project. And I, I'm, not, I'm not supposed to reveal the name of the game, which is on the back here. Okay. Um, but they have basically developed a card game where you learn the different words associated with alcohol. So, the first one <laughs> that was on the top of the deck, I didn't even, mm -hmm. was balanced. <laughs> and I just... I thought it was really funny because whenever I don't know what to say, I always say things are balanced. But yeah, balanced, woody, vicus, velvety, like there's this whole deck. Um, so if you guys go check out Doing the Most, it's D O I N the Most. Um, on Instagram, they also have a YouTube channel. Um, I'm sure they'll be talking more about their card game in the future. But I was super stoked, and thank you for sending us a sample pack. That was really sweet of you. Well, we're gonna learn how to play it. Yeah, we definitely have to learn how to play it. They just so they sent it in Friday. Okay. And then I they at like 4 p.m. they messaged me and they're like, "Hey, did you get it?" And I'm like, "I am leaving. I will check on Monday. Monday was a holiday." Right. Right. I'm a forgetful person, so Tuesday Tuesday was out. Wednesday, they're like, hey, just check. And so I said, you know what? It's here. It's locked in the owner's office. I'll get it on Thursday for Thursday, Thursday. So, yeah, yeah I just wanted to give a shout out. Uh, wow, thanks for the gift. That's yeah. super cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to learn how to play it. It has little, um. What's that say? Let's see. That's a request. Someone said, oh, somebody sent a request to be in our video. There's oh. enough, there's enough with two of us already, but thank you. <laughs> how to play here so it says it's best played with three to six players okay. there should be as many beverages as there are players um, like different beverages uh yeah it says they're to share so okay okay Ooh, um, that'd be fun and then each round players take a turn in the role of judge um and a game with four players would have four rounds mm -hmm. um at the beginning of the game you get seven cards and then um, at the beginning of each round, one of the beverages will be poured into the glasses. Each player will taste a drink. The non judged players will choose a card from their hand that they feel best represents the drink. Ooh. So. How fun. Yeah. Can you just see, like, all right, if you had your friends come over and you said, bring your favorite bottle. Mm-hmm. And then you did this, and you know, I've done it before where people say, bring your favorite bottle, and then we put, like, um, paper bags on it. And okay, get, so you like, don't know, You yeah. almost get, like, a... Like a score, you do, you get a scorecard, and you go around and you have to just taste them, and you rate them, and then um, at the end, you turn in your ratings, and whichever one got the highest, and, and you put a dollar in the, in a, like a big bucket thing mm -hmm. or whatever, we use a punch bowl, and um, whoever's wine wins, you win the money. The money, yeah. That's cool. You're all schnockered at the end, <laughs> and you have a winner. <laughs> That's cool. How could that be bad? Yeah. I think that's a really cool concept, especially for, like, someone like me. I don't know all the terms, so it'd be really useful, and it has the definitions and everything, so you don't have to know the definitions. It's all to learn. No, but you learn how to use it then. Yeah. So, I don't know. I think I think that we should play at some point in the future. I agree. 
I, I think totally really agree. Fun. Okay. Well, then we can, we'll report back. <laughs> we'll report back. <laughs> we'll have maybe, to do that on a non-work night. Maybe if we have, like, a brew day or something, we could play during, although, that would be kind of interesting. And then get an Uber? I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, playing during, like, brew day. I, I feel like people either have rules about if they're allowed to drink on their brew day, like, when they're allowed to drink, or some people I don't, don't think you're allowed all. to get totally yeah. hammered on brew day until after. Right. Or else you might have some... Your hot conditions <laughs> would be rough. <laughs> It's like, you're reading the instructions, eh, good enough. Eh, yeah, it's kind of like, um, some, I, my poor husband, sometimes when I'm cooking, you know, sometimes I, if I have a glass that I start when I start dinner, or if I start drinking before dinner, how creative the meal will right. get. Yeah. <laughs> Life is an adventure. What the heck? Um, I so, do like our backdrop here. Yeah, so our backdrop is going to be the light white wines that we carry. Now, obviously, I we carry a ton, so I just got yeah. a few here. Um... But the first one I want to talk about, which I don't, I don't have behind us, is Chenin Blanc. Mm -hmm. um, so this one is from South Africa. Um, it's going to have hints of green apple and lemon, and it's going to be dry. Mm -hmm. um, now you're a big fan of anything from Africa, is it? Wasn't that what you were saying? South America, day? generally. Oh, South America, but so um, not South. South America. Africa has some great grapes as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. So that one's going to be um, one oh nine ninety nine. Um, Who makes that? Do you know? Uh, um, that, I'm pretty sure that's a wine expert. Is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, um, and then the next one we have is Pinot Grigio, which is what, what we're, we're drinking. drinking. Mm -hmm. Um. And seriously, like, if you just want to have a nice, easy drinking wine, this would be your go-to. I'd grab a Pinot Grigio any day. Mm hmm To anyone that's like, I'm just getting used to wine, I don't really know what to drink, and I've just done, like, sweet things, mm -hmm. like maybe Moscato, um... Go, gradu not graduate. I don't want to say that because I still love Moscato and the sweet things. But try try a um, Pinot Grigio because it's good. Yeah, it's very good. And um, you can still enjoy the sweet. You can right. you could back sweet yeah. that if you wanted to. Um, so we have these in Crew International, Crew Select, uh, Wine Expert Reserve, and then Classic versions. Um, and the, I only have the price for the Wine Expert Reserve, which is one thirty four ninety nine. but they vary in price. Um, and something interesting about this is that the grape for this, they said was picked earlier than all the other regions in Italy. So okay. it takes out some of the, they said some of the acidity that, <laughs> that's funny. To make it more balanced. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's funny that I was like, oh, I feel like this is going to be acidic because it's literally yeah. the opposite. And I, and I don't feel that. like it is. No, it's not. No. Um, so yeah, I don't know if we have any... But a nice Pinot. Italian Pinot Grigio. Yeah, right so here we have the international. And this one too. The classic. And this one would be the least expensive. Mm -hmm. But you're looking... So when you're looking at the at the kits, if you're, if you're looking at one expert, down here it's going to tell you how big the bladder of juice is. So this one has an 8 liter um, bladder of juice, and that one has a 10 liter bladder of juice. And that only really matters in the ratio of juice to water as you're creating the 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 um the wine before you pitch the yeast. Gotcha. Yeah. So and then the more juice you have, the more flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Or the depth like of the, flavor, the more complexity yeah. you have. They're all going to make alcohol. Right. Okay. They're it's all. It's kind of like it's kind of like mix. shampoo, right? Like they're all going to clean your hands. hands. They all clean your hair, but like some of them obviously have more water in it than. Yeah. Or other. more other. Things. Not that you're drinking shampoo. Maybe that's a bad comparison. <laughs> I, I buy really expensive shampoo. <laughs> and I don't. <laughs> yeah, but your hair is naturally that color. Mine is not. My hair is flawless. Thank yeah, exactly. You. Um, all right, next up we're talking about Sauvignon Blanc, which that's what we're drinking oh, next, right? We are drinking it next. Um, so I don't know how well you guys can see too, but these are like, if, if you look, they're two really different colors. Like this one's quite a bit darker than the other one. Um, uh, but we'll, I'll pour that so this, this. Sauv Blanc that we're going to drink is a New Zealand Sauv Blanc. Okay. Um, and that is uh, important to me in that um, it is my favorite. So so I, I get back it up. The Pinot Grigio is an Italian grape. So we are drinking an Italian Pinot Grigio. The Sauv Blanc, my favorite region for that is New Zealand. And so we are drink going to be drinking a New Zealand Sauv Blanc. Gotcha. I so tell I, me your difference I was between totally, what you smell. I was totally paying attention, but it's just weird. I'm not at all because they're completely different. So this one's like sweet when you smell it. Mm -hmm. This one's earthy. It's like mm -hmm. 
It literally smells like you're outside, like dirt, grass. Okay, and I also want you to think about think about the smell of hops. Not to be weird, smell that and think about. Yeah, this one definitely has more of that than this one. Uh huh. That, it's not hot. I'm not being no. goofy. I'm not, no, I no, don't no, think no. that's the <laughs> truth. But what I can tell you is, like, I keep saying the Sauve Blanc is the IPA uh, of, of wines. Wine. You've heard <laughs> me say that. You have. Hmm. Not even related, right? No. And let me say grapefruit. Definitely. Now I'm torn because I like them both. Mm hmm. But for, like, they're just different. I don't know how you would even compare them. Because I want to say that this one has more flavor to it. 100%. Like, definitely. More complexity, more flavor. It's bold. But then this one is just nice if you just, like, don't want. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, I know. You're so right. This you're is right. me. This is the, these are my two go-tos because they're not, they're not shades of the same thing. Yeah. That's so funny because I feel like even a year ago, I definitely would have, eh, they taste like fairly similar, but now that I've tasted more things, like, no, they taste very different. Yes. That's cool. I think, I think I'd go with, um, Sauvignon Blanc. I do. And, uh, um, Pinot, but. Yeah, if, this is it. One, two. Right. But if I. Let's say I go to the store and I'm like trying to choose and they're like this one would be more expensive than the other one mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Then and I was doing it with a meal or whatever, I would just get this because if I was doing it with a meal I wouldn't want this to be too much, you know. But can you see like for our winemakers, it it could be very important to have both in your wine cellar aging mm -hmm. because they're not the same. No. Yeah, that's cool. I'm really glad that we did the contrast of that because I really appreciate that. Because I feel like we've talked about it a lot and I'm, I'm right. like, because so many people think that, oh, it's white wine. Yeah. Uh, and, the, and I think red wine sometimes gets more like street cred. They get more, like, of course they're very different. Mm -hmm. And then people go, oh, that's white wine. But it's not. No. It, you could taste the difference. Like, huh. this is your friend who's wearing a feather boa, having a good time, <laughs> sliding in, sliding into the bar going woohoo, <laughs> with all kinds of flavor, and this is the one who's just the sweetheart that you want to talk to if, if you just need an ear. Truly, if, if, if wine had personality, those would be your two friends. I love it. That's can you really, see that? Yeah, I can totally see that. Yeah. I like it. Um... So, so what wine are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what wine are you? We should, we should, you oh, know what? Fine. I'm going to put up something. What wine are you? Yeah. We need to do and like I'll personality traits with it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I'm on it. Don't even Oh, worry. that would be fun. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I remember at one point I did what drink, if you only could pick like two drinks out of nine, which ones would you pick? And uh, I put water in there, and oddly enough, water did not get picked very often. <laughs> There's water in here. We're <laughs> good. Someone says, Santa, Yun I'm sorry, I'm probably going to say it's wrong. Santa Inez, California has some great white wines. California Ooh, just has you. good wines in general. Too. And I seem to lean that way towards Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think that sometimes you just have, you have to be reminded. Like, open up your mind. There's more. There's more going on in California than we even know. That's true. California is a huge state. It's like a country. It literally takes, yeah. I want to say, like 13 hours or something ridiculous to drive from You South would know the world track yeah. right here. <laughs> uh, um, so Sauvignon Blanc, I don't think we, I really went through the kit. So we do have an on the house option, which is like our most economical option. Um, if we even have any left. $59.99, we do have a few. I think okay. we have like two or three. Um, then we have the classic Chilean, um, which I believe... Let's see. Well, we no, I have the California yes. now. Yeah. Um, so ca classic Chilean, seventy nine ninety nine. Oh, here's a New Zealand though. Um, yes. That when you were talking about that. And something that I do wanna know, um, now I'm probably gonna also announce this in other ways, but you guys get to hear this news first. Um, they have changed their product packaging. So Big time. They have went from this is the original crew select here. Okay. This is worth noting. I can so, help. I can help. Okay. okay. What are we talking about? So this is the original crew select. Mm. And this is the new crew select. It's like Which, by the way, completely different. Yeah. Nine day. 
Um, I think it looks nice. It does. <laughs> it does. There are also a, a few other nuances that are slightly different in that the old Crew Select was a 16 liter bag and now they're going to a 12 liter bag, um, but it actually makes it more manageable. Um, and it's, they're still, they're telling us it's going to have the same great um, quality. So I'm, I believe them because RJS does a great job. Mm -hmm. So if um, you're buying those kits and some of the website pictures are, we're trying are to make different. them match. We're trying, yeah, we're trying to make them match as they come along, but um, you don't know which one to grab, do you? I know. <laughs> um, yeah, Todd and I are working on making those pictures match. Mm -hmm. um, so then, by the way, Todd has not been fired yet today. He hasn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I came in late, so we're good. <laughs> uh, I, you don't know this story. Todd story. You gotta have a Todd story on the Thursday Most Thursday days. Live. Uh, he was joking around that I asked him if we had Memorial Day off because I don't. I mean, I figured we did, but I was just asking. And he says, "No, we don't have it off." And I went over to ask, to say, like, "Well, hey, I'm not gonna be here. I have had plans." And he watched me walk over and was following me. And as soon as I saw him following me, I'm like, "Okay, like, whatever, right?" And so then I come into my desk on Tuesday, and on my chair there's a there we have like a absent slip where if you if something happens you have to fill it out and you know classic thing, mm -hmm. and uh, the absent slip is filled out and it's like there's a note and I think he tried to mimic your handwriting it says um, please please fill out with excuse why you were absent and then it said like unpaid like blah blah, blah. and I like. When I first looked at it, you know, you get a job, and I was like, I was like, oh, shoot. And then five seconds later, I was like, nice yeah. try, buddy. Nice try. The, the holidays <laughs> are on the red door, though. Uh, yeah. No, I know. <laughs> I know. But it just, like, and oh. uh, I, I, like, folded it, and I ripped it in half. I said, this is what I think. I ripped it in half, and I threw it in the trash. Then I put my headphones in. <laughs> yeah, don't listen to Todd, ever. Never listened to Todd. I tried to get him back, but I'm borrowing a friend's car. Um, we, like, traded cars because she needed my truck for moving. Happened. And uh, I tried to get him back by telling him that I had got rid of the truck and I got a new car, but I forgot that I told him earlier that I had borrowed and he was like, nah. <laughs> it didn't work. He was like, wait, are you borrowed? I was like, oh, dang it. Can never be as good as Todd. Todd is not right. All right, go word for meaner. That's pretty close. <laughs> what is it? I just say Gwitstraminer. Gwitsch. But I, it could, I'm not German. Like, I don't know. Gwitstraminer. You did well, because I've heard it called some things. Well, I wasn't even sure what it was. Let me tell you, it is a very long thing to type. It is. <laughs> Every time I type it out. Now, have you had it before? Uh, I don't think I have, and we haven't had it here. It's it's actually, I like it. Mm -hmm. I think it's refreshing. Um, but it's a little bit sweeter than what would be in my wheelhouse. Yeah, so that's what I was just gonna say is all the ones we've talked about up until now have been dry. Mm -hmm. um, this one is the one that's like sli slightly sweet aromatic. Mm -hmm. uh, Gwurtstraminer, uh, light and slightly sweet. Um, the flavor uh, profiles that I'm getting is orange blossom, lychee, uh, like floral peach, tropical, um, that type of a vibe. So, which sounds really good to me. Yeah, we were just at a winery um, near our home, and we asked the, the, the waiter, you know, I, I, what would you recommend? I'm looking for kind of a, a white, something refreshing, and he, he chose with demeanor, and I said, okay, you know, my husband always just goes along with it. If he thinks I say, okay, it's okay, <laughs> and he loved it, but he does, he's like, I'm telling you what, you guys have the same palate. Um, he likes them to be a little more balanced, a little bit sweeter, a little bit... Um, kinder in the sandbox than I do so he was thrilled with it yeah well that's cool um I would like to try it we should try it on one of our future okay. lives um so we have the reserve German crew select classic California and crew international they range in price from $79.99 all the way up to $139.99 and like I said we have like this old crew select style mm -hmm. it's going to be changing to this type um, we have the Crew International. And it's, um, it's changing over time, so our is. next few shipments may actually even be old okay. packaging. Mm -hmm. Because until they run out of boxes, it'd be silly <laughs> to, to yeah. not use those. And, and I want them to use them because I'm a bit of a, you know, environmental right. 
Please yeah. get those boxes. So. Right. Um, Especially and, with the quantity of things that we ship and whatever, we're always mm -hmm. trying to make sure that we uh, are environmentally friendly. That dumpster in the back, the recycling, it's always full. It is. It is. <laughs> and, and I think, you know, we're, we're, I don't know if we've even mentioned, but we will be moving some of our um, operations to a new warehouse, actually, yeah. as, as early as the summer. We're going to leave our store where it is and hopefully expand that and expand what we're offering. But at the new place, we're actually going to have a baler where we can actually, oh, cool. actually get that stuff really put together so it can go out and be recycled and um, just, just be more earth-friendly. Yeah, that's great. Because mm -hmm. um, it's easy as an individual to try and do the right things, but, but as we're bigger. businesses, mm -hmm. it, I feel like a lot of responsibility to be environmentally friendly falls on businesses' shoulders, even if we're small to medium businesses like mm -hmm. we are, so. Yeah. Um, uh, Riesling is going to be the last uh, wine of choice today. Uh, now, has that have been, been one of your go-tos, the Riesling? Like I, a Moscato and a Riesling, or just Moscato, uh, previously? You know, I don't really drink wine except here. I'm going to be completely okay, honest. Okay, you're a beer guy. Beer guy? I, a beer guy? I'm a, I'm a beer, beer guy. I'm a beer, oh, beer guy. guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a beer guy. A beer gal? Um, but I'm trying to think if I've drank. No, I've only drank, like, mixed drinks. Um, yeah. I Never know. a Riesling. I can't say so, yeah. Uh, I feel like are you I've upset? let you down. Are you I've, let, I've let you down. Um, yeah. I don't... Typically well, drink it's a Riesling. Fixable. Oh, we can fix this. I don't drink a Riesling, but I can tell you, I think everybody should try it. Well, I will. My friend the other day got wine when we went out to a restaurant, though. And I thought about it, and I was like, no, I want beer. <laughs> I want beer. What did you have? Um, she had uh, like a sparkling rosé or something like that. And yes. She sounded really fancy when she said it, and we were at this Indian restaurant, and it was delicious, and I was like, it was so good. The food oh. was so good. I realized that butter chicken is, like, a food I've never had, but love. And, it's and decadent and kind of full of juices. So good. And, oh, yeah. Literally so good. I wish I was, like, eating it for lunch, because okay. it was amazing. Oh. Um, but, yeah, Riesling... Uh, it's going to have white peach, pineapple. This is the one that has some acidity to it. Yeah. Um, and we have the Reserve California version and also a Washington version. Um, $79.99 for the Washington and $134.99 for the um, Reserve California. So, a lot of different options. And don't think that the options that we've talked about today are, like... The They're not exhaustive option. by any no, means. No, it's just one of those things where we only have so much time. You have time. to throw a dart and see what you hit because really we... Right, because I thought about including Moscato and I was like, I mean, a lot of people know what Well, and I can tell you we've been doing a lot of Vonier in mm -hmm. our house. Um, and and the, we have a Vonier kit that is all amazing. And I think that actually is one of Tom's very favorite. And I think you would like it as well because it's so, like, chill. Mm -hmm. The Vonier is just like he'll if he Proud sees me you. and he'll be like you need to have this. Like if I'm drinking it, he'll go, "What are you having?" I'm like a Vonier, and and then he, he's got a glass out. <laughs> but there's other things I have. He's like, mm, "You're good." <laughs> he's not a Sau Sauvignon Blanc guy at all. Hmm. Although he, he's you're missing, liking it, he's missing yeah. out. It's weird that he's not because if he likes IPAs, then Tom. Get your life together. <laughs> <laughs> we need you to come out and board. I, I know you're watching. I he is. He watching. is. He's, watching. he's at work. He's working. That's what we call working. Uh -huh. Can I just say, before we sign off, um, one, if you weren't here at the beginning, we have 10% off cork, uh, corkers and cappers uh, with the code 10, cork 10. Let me do that again. 10% off corkers and cappers with the code Cork 10. Perfect. Perfect. And then the second thing that I was going to say is, can we just say how well coordinated our outfits oh, are yeah. today? Yeah, but I'm wearing your favorite color. Right. So. Yeah, and it's Asia's favorite color. Is it? In our logistics department. I knew I liked her. So she, like, mauled me when I walked in. She was like, I love that sweater! I was like, I actually, she dates my, my son, so I go, I thought of you when I bought it, but not <laughs> enough to give it to you. I thought of you. it to you. That's great. <laughs> All right, well, I hope everyone has a happy rest of your Thirsty Thursday. 
Um, if you can't grab a drink right now, I hope that you get to tr grab one later in the day. Uh, cheers. And decide, you know. And, yeah, decide. Um, I would love to know, do you prefer Pinot Grigio or Sauvignon Blanc? Which one is your preference? And, um, let's see. Just Corkers and Cappers or Corks and Caps as well? Just Corkers and Cappers. Uh, I know it's a bit confusing. But there'll be another, um sale coming out for Father's Day. That There's a Father's the Day sale. Right, right. There's a Father's Day sale, so. A little teaser. Yeah. Mm. Um, That's us. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Do we have anything? What do we have going on next week? I don't even I know. I have my, my plan. I'm old school. I have my planner here. You have your planner? Look at you. I do. I do. Let's see. A paper book? <laughs> I said old school. Yeah. <laughs> I like to write Ooh. things down too. I have my work cut out for me because oh, we have a yeah, milkshake yeah, yeah. IPA we're talking about milkshake next week. Milkshake IPA. And I don't have to. We don't have time to brew it because it just came out. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to our local brewery who does a great job at milkshakes and grab one there, and we'll taste that one. But it won't be what we're what we have as a kit. But it'll at least let you know what a milkshake tastes. like. I'm super excited because I haven't had milkshake. Mm -hmm. Milkshake anything. IPA. So, stay tuned yeah. next week for Milkshake IPA. Um, and somebody mentioned that it's World Cider Day today. Ooh, I, I love that. I did see that this morning. Um, I, I love hard cider. Yeah, and I don't know how I missed it. You know what, we I haven't was, made that either on yeah. a live. We should make cider we should one make live. Cider. Yeah, we don't I, give cider enough attention. Cider is delicious. No, but like mead is, is needs our attention. Kombucha, wine, beer. <laughs> I'm sorry, Cider. We'll fix that. I'm sorry, Cider. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Have a good one, guys.